Excellent. 115 over 68. Really? Managing her weight was something Anne had always struggled with. Downstairs, uh, you know, accomplishing simple tasks at home. Uh, I couldn't uh, step, I couldn't stand up uh, to cook dinner. You know, maybe about 15 minutes I'd have, and then I'd have to sit down. Anne tried multiple diets with some success, but always gained the weight back. Things changed when she met Dr. Larry Cheskin. He designed an individualized weight loss plan for her. After two years, she has lost and kept off. In total, 241 pounds. But success stories like Anne's are rare in the United States. According to a new report, adult obesity is still on the rise and will afflict more than 50% of Americans in 39 states by the year 2030. Such widespread obesity is expected to increase by 20 times the number of cases of diabetes, heart disease, and stroke in the United States. If you think about it, everywhere we turn, we're being pushed to eat more and we never need to burn off the calories by exercising. That's just part of the reason why each year more than 100 million Americans will try some kind of weight loss program. And the diet industry is big business in the United States, generating annually more than $20 billion. This is what success looks like. Consumers are bombarded by slick advertising campaigns from diet companies promising results often with endorsements from highly paid celebrities. It's an industry critics say relies on failure to make its profits. But legal activist and law professor John Banzaff says obesity can be stopped. For 30 years, he successfully used lawsuits to take on tobacco companies to improve public health. Now he's taking on some of America's biggest fast food giants. We can limit the size of uh, large uh, sugary soft drinks. We call them liquid candy. You can put a tax based upon the number of calories in a product. You can do lots of things. The interesting thing is we know they work, but we lack the political courage to do it. So far, Banzaf has launched 10 successful legal actions related to the problem of obesity. But he says it will likely take many more lawsuits before the number of severely overweight Americans finally begins to come down. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.